Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fix perspective problems in your photos in Lightroom. In this video tutorial, we're going to have a look at perspective correction in Lightroom. And this is an image that's showing some perspective issues. If we were to draw a line through these towers in this image, they would all intersect. Whereas common sense would say that if we were actually looking at those towers, they're probably all parallel to each other. The issue is caused because this photo was taken at ground level looking up at the towers. And whenever you do a photo like that, you're going to encounter the problem where the top of the building, the top of these towers, all look like they're converging. You can get around that when you're shooting, but you would do so with some really expensive lenses. Because this was not shot with an expensive lens, we can fix it in Lightroom. And the fix that we're going to perform is done through the Lens Correction panel. So you're going to open the flyout for the Lens Correction panel and go to Manual. And what we're looking at is the vertical adjustment because we want to pull these towers slightly outward. So I'm just going to drag to the left with this slider. If you're not sure which way to drag, just try both ways and it will become immediately apparent which way is going to work best. Now in Lightroom 5, the grid that is appearing over the image right now, this is a really big grid and it's really not helping me line things up very well at all. So I'm just going to go down here to the toolbar and I'm going to select the grid overlay option because that adds a grid overlay slider to the toolbar and using it, I can size the grid down. And so I can make sure that the grid is small enough that I'm actually going to be able to see it clearly on this image. And so it's going to be of some use to me as I do my adjustment. So now I'm going to continue and just drag on this vertical slider and drag it to the left. Now, there is a point at which I can go too far. Because our eyes tend to expect that we're going to see this convergence issue happening, it's best generally to under adjust rather than over adjust. If we over adjust or if we make these towers purely parallel, we're going to get the feeling that the whole building's going to fall apart outwards. Everything's going to come pulling away because it's just not going to look realistic. So I'm going to compromise between fixing it and over fixing it. I'm going to go slightly under. So I'm going to make sure that these towers are not perfectly parallel, but they're a whole lot better than they were. So let's just put them back to where we had them, something like here, an adjustment of about minus 19. Now I'm going to click on Constrain Crop because Constrain Crop is going to remove this area from the image. So I'm just going to click that to see how my image looks. And now if I want to, I can also adjust the aspect. And I can pull it out a little bit because in making that fix, I've probably lost a little bit of the width of my image in doing so. So I'm just going to adjust the aspect a little bit. And if I'm now happy with my fix, I can just close down this panel. And we can go back and see the image as it was when we shot it. I'm going to press the backspace key. So this is the before and this is the afterwards. If we want to have a look again at the crop, we can click on the Crop Overlay tool. And this will allow us to make some adjustments. And I'm a little bit concerned because I lost the top of the tower here. Well, I can get the top of the tower back by just adjusting this crop overlay. It was created automatically by Lightroom when I said that I wanted to constrain the crop, but here it's adjustable as well. So now I've brought in a little bit of breathing room to the top of the tower. Let's have a look now at the before and after, and we've got a better image. The next image that we're going to look at is an image of a 6 by 6 inch sheet of paper. Now this image doesn't look square at all and it looks actually a bit smaller than 6 by 6. It looks a bit more like a rectangle than a square. And of course the top of the paper is much smaller than the bottom. 
The problem here occurred at the capture time. If I'd photographed this standing directly over the top of the sheet of paper, it wouldn't have had these problems. But I've shot this from an angle and this is the result. To fix this, again, we're going to Lens Correction Tool and again, we're going to click on Manual and exactly the same problem is occurring here. We need to make the top of the image bigger. So we're going to drag on the vertical adjustment here to try and straighten up the sides of this image. Now in the process, you may have noticed that the sides of the image are actually billowing out. This is fairly indicative of an image that's been shot with a low quality camera. This has been shot in fact with a fairly inexpensive point and shoot camera and probably also in macro mode and we're seeing this billowing, this sort of barrel distortion effect from the lens. So it's very typical and obviously it's something that Lightroom is well set up to fix and it does it through this distortion option. The distortion option goes in a barrel direction in this direction and pin cushion in the other. So you can adjust pin cushion or barrel distortion and the way that you adjust it is best by adding the opposite. So we're adding a bit of pin cushion to compensate for the barrel distortion. And this is indicating to me too that I've gone way too far on the vertical here. So I've lost the correction here. So I'm just looking at getting that back. So this is the fix for this image. Now if I'm a little bit concerned that I'm not keeping the correct aspect ratio, if I think that this is not really showing as a square piece of paper, I can adjust the aspect ratio. So I can make it stretch outwards or I can make it stretch a little bit higher. And this adjustment is fairly recent to Lightroom. Lightroom's been able to do lens corrections for some time, but being able to fix the aspect ratio once you've fixed the lens problem, that's fairly new to Lightroom. It may not be available in your version. I'm going to constrain the crop on this too, so I make sure that the crop is perfect so I don't have any excess around it. I can go back also and just click on Crop Overlay and just make sure that I'm getting the best crop for the image. So there's a way of correcting perspective problems in Lightroom. The kind of perspective problems that you're going to have if you shoot from a wrong angle and shoot with low quality lenses and the kind of perspective problems that you're going to get just in life because you're not shooting with lenses that cost tens of thousands of dollars and you're looking up at buildings and if you want to straighten them, make them look a little bit better, then the lens correction tool in Lightroom is your tool of choice. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more tutorials on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released and visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.